and welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in on this episode. We are going to explore the Nordic countries, and we're going to do it through football stadiums. So football stadiums in Nordic countries, only Google coverage for inside view of the stadiums play Mika's other map, Nordic football stadiums tour. So we're going to get into this game. We're going to explore the stadiums. We're going to maybe explore the clubs. We're going to do this in a no time limit, moving, panning, zooming, allowed challenge to play a long link. If you want to play along will be in the description below and let me know what your favorite football club is your team if you play football um on all over the map i'm going to do a couple of football stadium maps occasionally um so if you've got any countries you want me to play so football stadiums of portugal football stadiums of the united states let me know in the comments down below that will be I'll probably do that for the next uh, football stadiums game. So anyway, let's get into this one and see where this takes us. It takes us to the home of the Whopper, Burger King Football Club. Um, no, that's not it. It is some location, I think, in probably Norway. Yes, there's the um, Norwegian Crest, home of the Whopper. Interesting story about Burger King. It was... BUR, so it's Burnley versus Manchester City in a Premier League match, maybe 2016-ish, somewhere around there. And on the upper right-hand corner, it's a quick story, I get a little distracted, but on the upper right or left-hand corner, it says Burnley versus Manchester City with the initials in the United States, it said BUR. And then, you know, whatever the score was, and then Manchester City was denoted by MC. And my daughter said, is Burger King playing McDonald's? <laughs> so I uh, won't forget that. So every time I see Burger King and I see football, I think of that. Anyway, uh, those are the little weird stories that you get. You're all over the map. The Ulival Stadion. Where is the Ulival? I'm going to guess probably Oslo. Uh, nice stadium, this one, though. Notice here comes the team off the bus. They're walking. Uh, so the Ulival Dominoes. So it's a shopping center and stadium in one. So where's the Ulival? I'm hoping we're in. I mean, it seems pretty flat. The ring road. The ring three. Let's find the exit. 60. 59. So we're a little north of the city here. Here's the Ulival Stadion. Burger King. So we're here. Uh, I'm going to have to look up the stadium of this one, probably, because I'm not sure who plays here. Maybe the national team. Yeah, looking east towards the Whopper. So we're right about there. It's the Ulival Stadion. So let's look this up. Ulival Stadion, football stadium in, there it is, as we take a look at that in Oslo. It's the home ground of Norway's national football team in the set in the Norwegian Cup final. So it's fully owned by the Football Association of Norway. Erlen Holland's home ground. He plays for the Norway national team. There we go. So Norway has its own stadium. By the way, the new manager, for those of you that are in football of the United States, is Mauricio Pochettino, which is pretty interesting to see him take over. I didn't think it was going to happen. I personally thought he was going to wait out for the Manchester United job because I don't know if Ten Hag is going to last longer. Anyway, we got to focus on Nordic. So that was the Norway National Stadium. I don't know many other national stadiums uh, in Europe that are specific for the national team. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below. Here we've got Brøndby Stadion, Brøndby, which is in Denmark. Um, nice uh, autumn day here at the uh, Bronby Stadion. 
unfortunately we can't um, see inside the stadium, but uh, that's why you got to do the other map. So the problem now is where's Brandby? Okay, this could be an issue. <laughs> um, are those where the away fans go? All right, I think Bromby's probably one of the bigger clubs in Denmark, I think. Uh, the only problem is... Where exactly is this located? I guess it's Bromby, but I... I don't know, I think I need... A little more clues. I need to do a Denmark game, so I uh, brush up on these skills here. Pioneer, it's Pioneer Copenhagen, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, Bronby Strand. <clears throat> Bronby Golf Club, and here's Bronby. So it is a, I guess, suburb or a little town outside of Copenhagen, but uh, I think this is it. The Bronby exit on the E47. Um, the fan zone, so let's go back to start. Looking east. And um, guess we're right about there. So Bronby, there we are. 23 yards, 5,000 points. And we'll look up Bronby. See what we can find. There's the blue and yellow Bronby. The boys from Estengen. Found it in 1964. I thought this would have been an older club. Um, 28,000 is the uh, capacity. Global football holdings. Jesper Sorensen is the head coach in the Superliga. They finished second out of. Uh, they finished second, yeah, second out of 12 spots um, participating in the Danish Cup. Yeah, so uh, Bronby is the most uh, widely popular football club in Denmark. So there you go. It's the most popular club, which is interesting. Um. Take a quick look at the stadium, Bromby Stadium, which we just saw. Let's take a look. There's the inside of Bromby Stadium. Uh, pretty nice, uh, just standard-looking football ground. Um, so there we go, Bromby for the second round. Oh, look at this one. A big stadium with the seats. This is FC Copenhagen. As the seats hang over sidewalk. Wow, okay. So we go down the road a little bit. Got a little kiosk there. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's just a normal office building, but it's not, it's FC Copenhagen. So we go back to Copenhagen, down the road from Bronby. Um, Parkin, I think is the place, Parkin is it. Yeah, parking killer kebab. It sounds pretty good. It sounds really good, actually. Right about now, so I'm hungry. Um, Copenhagen. Um, I think I could be wrong. Ugh, I'm, I'm losing my memory here, but I think this is the stadium where was it the game between Denmark and Finland, Nordic countries, where Christian Eriksen had his episode with the, with his heart, I believe. I believe this was the stadium, but I could be wrong. I also know that Manchester, I think Manchester United was the stadium they lost to Copenhagen in the Champions League. Um, so yeah, if you can confirm that, 
Um, that'd be great. So I think we're just right about there. Uh, FC Copenhagen for the third round. FC Copen. Where's the English? Copenhagen. There's the logo. The Lions. Parkin is the stadium. And um, this is the team that I would have thought would have been the most popular uh, team, I guess, of late in uh, Denmark. But there it is. There it is, the Parkin Stadion, or Stadium in Parkin. And we get back here to GeoGuessr. And we go up to the fourth round. And we've got some in interesting statues at Helsingsborg. Nice uh, football ground, this one. Nice location, the Olympia Stadion, I guess, in Sweden. Let's take a look at the stadium. Yeah, look at those lights. Interesting lights. Old school. There's Max Burger. Maybe I need to do a Max Burger game. Haven't done one of those for a while, but there's the uh, the stadium seat view, I guess. So let's go to Helsingborg. And is it the arena? No, it's not the arena. It is the Olympia Stadion, I guess. Or is it just called the Olympia? I guess it's just called the Olympia. So let's go back to start. North side of the stadium here. Right there near the intersection of this road here. So Helsingborg is where we are. We're going to take a look at this. Helsingborg's IF. Hide this. So what do we have here? We have uh, the red ones. The, uh, I'm not sure if that's pronounced that way, but uh, founded in uh, June 1907, 117 years ago. They play Olympia. Frederick Carlson is the chairman. The manager is Kleber Serenpa, which um, almost has got like a Brazilian Finnish name, seems to me. 15th in the Allsvenskan, so uh, not doing as well. I'm not sure if the Allsvenskan's finished right now, but uh, looking at this, Helsingborg played recently in the uh, Europa League. They played the Champions League in a playoff against Celtic in 2013, or 2012 probably. Uh, the UEFA Cup, the Intertoto Cup, wow, going back to 2002. The Champions League in 2000-2001, so Helsingborg, PSG, Bayern, FC Bayern. So there you go. Helsingborg is a very, I guess, prestigious club uh, in the Swedish Allsvenskan. Let's take a look at that stadium, Olympia Stadium. There's the inside of the stadium. Nice ground, everything uh, contained there. There's interesting lights. Um, so there we are, Helsingborg for the fourth round. The fifth and final round takes us to a smaller football ground. Uh, braving the elements on this stand, Carlsberg beers, which you can get at the Ooh of Vingingsen Stadion, uh, Ling Lingby Bold Club, and so Ling Lingby Bold Club. Uh, chatting about. Um, I don't know. I'm wondering what they're chatting about. If uh, Lingby's going up or down this year. And uh, I think this is probably is this the way out. This looks like the way out here. Um, okay, so no finish stadiums in this one. Uh, even though I think this game was made by a Finn. Okay, so we got a little... What is that? Like a cemetery stones? Um... Lingby, the town of Lingby, Lundhofte, 
Toms. Look at that graffiti. Toms. So I don't know if this is the best way of finding out where Lundolf is, but we're going to go this way. Hope to find out, uh, maybe get some more signage. I'm guessing this is the, well, whatever, that's probably the national, well, no, we're probably Copenhagen. That's, yeah, so there's Lingdi. I, so the yellow bus is, is Copenhagen. Um, I was thinking, okay, maybe that's like a national bus, but no, I think that's it. Lingby. It's called a bus stop. Um, McDonald's Gentofte. All right, so... If this is it. Bags Fjardstadion. I don't think that's it. Kierkegaard. All right, there we go. There's Kierkegaard. Um, let's take a look. Let's see. Let's think about this real quick. Gentofte. Lundtofte is this way, so that is going north. All right, and there it is. Follow the signs to Lundtofte, the Denmark's Tekniske Universität. What we're looking for is Lingby Stadion, the Bold Club. Uh, looking northwest. So. I'm going to guess that we're here. Um, hmm. Okay, if we head east. Yeah, so we head east. All right, so we've got... All right, so the first little thing is... Wait, uh, Lingby Holland. So... So there's Lingby Holland. Holland? Holland? I think we're on this corner. And there we are. 5,000 points. Perfect score on Nordic football stadiums. Lingby Stadion. Lingby Stadium. There we are. There's Lingby Stadium. There's the stadium. Team's going to run to applaud the 20 fans in the stands. But um, it's a combined football and athletic sta stadium. Uh, it is the home of Lingby Bold Club. So that's kind of what we're looking for, right? Capacity of approximately 10,000 with 3,100. See, there's Lingby BK. Um, Found it 103 years ago. Morten Carlsen's the manager. And they're in the Danish Superliga. How about that? Small ground for the Danish Superliga. So Copenhagen can play here. There we go. There's another picture of the stadium from May 2019. They've won the Danish Cup a couple of times. They've won, they've been the Danish champions as recently as 1991, 1992. And have they played in the Champions League? They have. 1992, they played Rangers. Interesting. So Lingby on Nordic football stadiums. So there we are. If you have, uh, if you want me to play Finnish football stadiums, I'm happy to do that. Uh, I do love football, so I'm gonna, and it is football season, soccer season, as we say in the United States here. Uh, I coach, so I'm gonna see a lot of this. Um, maybe some commentary on that. Like I said, Mauricio Pochettino signed as USA manager today, actually yesterday. Um, so that's interesting for me as American. Uh, but do you have any any thoughts on the Danish Superliga? The Weisskaus Liga of Finland or the Allsvenskan, any, um, or even the Premier League. 
I'm going to talk about Erland Holland. Is he going to score 30 goals or more this year? Let us know in the comments down below. With that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Cheers.